Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Thomas Quinones, and this is my midterm project. As you can tell from what's on the screen right now, my midterm project is on World Wrestling Entertainment, the WWE, WWE.com, the WWE app, WrestleMania. There are so many brand extensions. It's going to take a lot more than five minutes to start talking about them. Uh, but we're going to take a stab at looking at the WWE's digital property today, how it's doing, where it can be better, and uh, real quick, before I get into it, I want to thank John Cena fans, the YouTube group. They created this video. I'm using it for educational purposes, which they probably never believed would be possible. Thank you, John Cena fans. If you want to check out more content like this, go to John Cena fans on YouTube and subscribe there. Anyway. I believe that WWE is a company that is in the forefront. The forefront. It is a best-in-class company in the digital age. I think that they have embraced technological advances and technological capabilities as they've been launched. They're a driver in their space, and I believe that they incorporate all of these advances into their business in a best-in-class way. Let's take a look at their business. In 2013, 25% of their revenue was garnered from overseas nations. I don't believe that if the WWE had not adopted their world is flat mentality and incorporated the digital offerings that they currently have into their business plan, if they had not taken all of that into account and really embraced it, I do not think that number would be as high as 25%. There's a few key drivers of their business that really drive revenue. They are live events, merchandising, and pay-per-views. Let's take a look at each one and how digital is performing under each um, of, the, of, those, of those key pieces of the WWE's business. Live events. The WWE has to promote their live events. They, um, similarly to a sports team or a circus or a concert tour, they have live events around the nation and even around the globe. So how do people find out about these live events? The WWE utilizes digital marketing to promote these events. They use geotargeting on their WWE.com webpage so that if you live in Hawaii and you want to know when the WWE is coming, if you go to WWE.com, you can see a pop-up or something on the homepage that tells you when the next time they will be in Honolulu is. Then from there, you can buy tickets and attend their event. The WWE also has an extensive uh, database of email addresses that have opted in in the past. They send email marketing blasts to people on those lists, um, and a lot of times they geo-target those lists as well so that they can send pre-sale access codes or even um, special opportunities to attend other live events like autograph signings or other merchandise launches that may be relevant to whatever group they want to segment their email marketing list towards. Speaking of merchandising, WWEshop.com is their e-commerce site. You can go there and purchase anything uh, from pens and pencils to teddy bears to cups to t-shirts to even video games. Uh, WWE 2K14 is the WWE's latest video game installment available for PS3 and Xbox 360. Their video games are an annual hit. This one is rated 8.7 out of 10 in IGN and people play these games on the Xbox and PS3 networks globally. They play their friends in New York guys can play their friends in China. It doesn't matter. Their networks are connected digitally, globally, and they can play against one another or even with one another in the same tag teams on these PS3 and Xbox networks. The merchandise, WWEshop.com website, also has an affiliate program where other websites, webmasters can go on there, sign up to be a part of this affiliate program and earn up to 6% on each um, purchase, each consumer purchase through their affiliate program. People love WWE characters in case you haven't noticed. They're rocking their shirts and not only are they buying their merchandise, but they're also following them on social media. Um, all of the WWE characters combined account for 175 million follows on Facebook and over 80 million follows on Twitter. Seldom will you ever go on Twitter on a Monday night during Monday Night Raw 
the WWE's landmark Monday night t television program, one of the longest running weekly episodic television shows uh, in history. And seldom will you ever go on Twitter during the time that that show is on the air and not see the WWE take up at least three of that of that moment's trending topics. Uh, WWE promotes these tweets on Twitter, and they also utilize these characters' Twitter and Facebook pages to drive traffic, drive merchandise sales, and drive awareness for whatever may be going on at that time. One of the things that's going on right now that if you're a WWE fan, you, you will not have missed. It's the launch of the WWE Network. And this network is not a TV network. It is not a cable network or a satellite channel. It is a digital network. One of the first of its kind. It's a 24-7 digital network for subscribers who pay $10 a month. It launched about a month ago, and it takes the WWE content library, essentially if every wrestling... Uh, production that has uh, aired over the last 20 to 30 years is a part of this content library. It's something Vince McMahon has uh, really keyed in on. They've really purchased all the content out there, including WCW and ECW, if you were a fan in the 90s and its heyday. Uh, this content library is going to be available on the WWE Network. Everyone has always asked, you know, or, or started talking about the future of television and how everything will be on demand, and they've always wondered how you will watch it, when you can watch it. Well, the WWE Network is the future. It has all the WWE's content on the network live. You can watch it when you want to, how you want to, wherever you want to. And I think, and I will go on record and say this, as the ring falls and breaks, I think that it will revolutionize the way that content is consumed uh, by people today. Um, as TV uh, continues to change, viewership continues to drop, and, uh, and and fees, content fees continue to to rise. Um, I do think that more and more organizations will be looking at this sort of content model. Uh, MLB on demand, the producers of that app are producing the WWE Network. Um, the WWE Network will be a key revenue generator over the next few years. The WWE is expecting 2 to 3 million subscribers in the next year domestically alone. Uh, next year they're expecting 750,000 subscribers uh, from international areas. Last but not least, search. I do want to talk about search because I think it's a very important part of any company's uh, digital marketing plan. In terms of SEM, I do think that the WWE is utilizing this properly. They're promoting the network right now. If you search for uh, a number of queries, as I had right before recording this this uh, recording this video, um, that is oh, of course subject to change depending on the moment you check. Um, in terms of SEO, I do see areas for improvement there. A lot of characters that you may search for, WWE does not pop up on top of the first page for those characters' names. Instead, you might see Wikipedia and other pages relating to that character. So I do see an area to, of improvement there in terms of organic search. All in all, though, the WWE is best in class with their e-commerce site, their digital network, the WWE network that we're going to hear big things from in the future, the way that they utilize digital media to promote their business, and seeing how digital is such a big part of the WWE's business, it's hard to see how they're not best in class. They're an amazing company with a top-notch digital model that they continue to tweak and continue to evolve. As this longtime fan has seen over the last few years, I don't think that WWE is going to settle for anything and that they're going to continue to evolve as technological advances allow. That's it for me, Thomas Quinones. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out.